Great here, welcome back to Tome. Okay, last time I lied. I was actually going to uh, go through the newbie area and then pick up later on because we, we've seen that multiple times, except I think this newbie area we haven't seen. And also, I, I actually died a couple of times, um, which pulled into question if I should lower, uh, instead of going roguelike and going into the intermediary step, which gives you multiple lives, uh, just so we have a longer series with each character. But I think I'm going to do a little compromise. What I'm going to do is, uh, if I die, I'll restart with the exact same character up to, like, three or four times. That way, we're not going through multiple characters so so rapid-fire. Maybe one of those will, will get out into the, uh, the larger world. So, I'm still running with an Arcane Mage. Um, this is a fresh start. And I've... I kind of like this build, so I'm going to run with this. I'm picking up uh, Wrath of the Woods, which is the, the racial. Gives uh, increased damage and reduced damage for five turns. Couple with uh, Aegis, which uh, is a heal, so I don't have to worry about finding a an infusion to heal. Then I'm picking up uh, Rush for a uh, quick closing. Uh, Arcane Combat, which is really cool. This one, if you have a spell... Whenever you swing, you have a percentage chance to fire off uh, a spell of your choosing or a random spell, which you can also choose out of the the allowed spells list down there, um, which is really nice. So for that, I'm picking up the air tree, and I'm starting off with lightning, and this is because this lightning can go through multiple opponents in a row. So if I line them up like in a corridor, I'm doing damage to the entire line, which is really nice. For some added defense, I'm picking up uh, this Earthline, which gives me uh, bonus armor straight off the bat. These, this is a sustain, so is this up here. And then finally, a third sustain down here, which is Fiery Hands. Um, it gives me added fire damage per melee attack and also uh, increases all fire damage. Now, this, this doesn't synergize well. You think I would pick up fire up here, except I need to unlock this... Uh, this talent to be able to get to this one, which is Shock Hands, which is the exact same thing, except it's Lightning with a chance to daze and increases all Lightning damage by 1%, and it also regenerates mana. So, later on, um, I'm hoping to couple this skill along with uh, the proccing off of Arcane Combat into the, uh, the spell on Arcane. Uh, finally, the Arcane Blades primary attributes are strength, magic, and cunning. Uh, I put a point into strength, into magic, and into constitution. Um, I don't know how I'm going to work out between four different stats. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go. So here is the main thing. Since I don't need this healing infusion, I'm just going to transmogrify it straight off the bat. So here's the arcane restoration where I normally would have my heal. Here's my offensive suite over here, and these are my three sustains. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set them all to auto-use when no enemy is visible. That way, um, if I ever get to a point where they drop, um, they'll fire back up on their own. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to mention, or did I mention already, is uh, I died multiple times, and I don't know if I want to revert to a um, the lower level. Choose lightning here. There we go. Um, where I get multiple lives. So, yeah, I think I mentioned this. Uh, I want to... There we go. I want to basically use the same character for multiple times if I die. So... We'll see how that goes. Who knows, if I keep dying as much as I was, I'll probably drop it to the, the lower level, just so we have longer runs. I'm tired of going through multiple characters. I mean, I might eventually... Who there. See, that proc is so nice. Uh, I might eventually change it back up and, and go back to uh, a proper roguelike. Uh, get my regen in. Get regen again. 
This is where I could use a proc. Uh, there we go. I'm going to get back to get one more regen. There we go. No, I can't rush. There! Here I was worried that I was going to die yet again. Let's pick up this staff. Actually, have I picked up anything that I could be wielding? No. That's the the nice part about Rush. Uh, let's see, it's off to the north. There we go. Yeah, this battle area is not the best, just because I can't line things up rather well. There we go. Oh, first off. Armor will help. Can I actually wield these? No, I cannot. Not yet. I plan on picking up the uh, the armor talents soon enough. I'll take it. I don't care what it is. Give me additional armor. And down to the next level. Is there anything here that I want to keep? Yes. Let's move this to the normal inventory and this to the normal inventory. There we go. That transmortify is so nice. Okay, wield that one. Okay, so this is increasing armor by 16. Armor hardness by 30. Does it actually, uh... No, it doesn't look like it reflects damage. Or, uh, causes damage on hit. There we go. Ah! Getting into that first level helps so much. Okay, so... Let's get more into... I'm just going to rush uh, Arcane, because every time that I that I increase this, I get a 5% greater chance for um, for the proc to, to fire off, and the, the more that I proc that, the better. So let us get... Actually, uh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to alternate between Strength and Cunning every other level. And so this level, I'm going to do Cunning and... Magic and Constitution. Because the cunning, if you'll notice here, uh, the chance increases with your cunning. So the, the more cunning that I have, the better. Yes, I want that. Okay. Uh, let's see now. Actually, let's take a look at this Iron Longsword. Worse than the one that I have. Okay. Nice. Okay, let's get the region going. And Slime Covered Battle Axe gives me hmm, a lot more damage. A little bit better physical crit chance and slows the enemy down a bit. I'll take it. Manipulate some items and areas are imbued with anti magic, a natural energy that disrupts magical abilities and effects. There are even those who have learned to harness anti magic in their own wild abilities and use them to hunt down and destroy those who are to be cast a hostile world. Okay, well, whatever. There we go. Let's rush into him. Back off. Ah, nice proc. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. Great Wolf to the north. There we go. You know what I should do? Uh, this requires mana, though. This one, however... No. Right click to configure... No. M? Can I configure this? There we go. I can, I can configure it that way, I guess. Uh, Auto-use when enemies are visible and adjacent. I don't want to try to remember using that that one. I wouldn't I wouldn't put it on this one because it uses mana, and I don't have a, a great deal of mana regeneration right now. So this particular uh, this won't fire off, and it will also prevent my heal. What is this anti magic? Oh, it's equipment. What 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 what? Infused by arcane disrupting forces. Okay, never mind. Let's go back to the longsword. There we go. Oops. As much as I would like that, I'm... I'm a magic user. Okay. I don't care what it is. We'll put on the rough leather cap of Constitution, which... I'll take it. And... Brass Lantern of Clarity. Which gives us... A little bit of mental save. A little bit of uh, sight. <laughs> Love proccing that. What I should do is I should watch my mana the next time it procs, see if it uh, lowers my mana. Well, fine. I'll just do that. Do that while you close in. Looks like it... Yeah, actually it does use uh, my mana. Mm. That's unfortunate. And down to the next level. Oh, we're making great time, aren't we? Let's see, is there anything here that I want to keep? No. Oh. Do I want to do an escort? Yes, I do. Hopefully it's not all the way across the uh, the level. It's not. Oh, that's nice. Okay, healing. There we go. Improve strength, improve magic. Chant of Fortress. Uh, sustained. Let's see. Your the chant of glory of the sun, reducing damage. Enemies three or more spaces away deal by twelve. Anything that hits you immediately. You can only have one chant active at a time. Granting you six physical save and spell save, and increasing your maximum life by four point one. Shield of light. Hmm. So 12% or 4% additional life. Or I can improve a base stat. You know what, let's, let's actually do the, uh, the Chant of Fortitude. I haven't done that before. Okay, what does it go off of? I don't know. Maybe I just made a huge mistake. We'll find out. Let's heal up. Okay. 
back off a bit. There we go. Huh. I actually got to use it. Okay. Positive energy costs 20, but energy is not one of my... Uh, who knows? So now I'm doing... Gory's son. I thought I got the one with the health. I mean the uh, reduction. Ah, oh well. So I got health plus saves. I'll take it. Okay. Snake to the south. Really should be... <laughs> really should be that way for that reason, so I can proc in the proper direction. Okay. A pair of rough leather boots, which I do not... Oh, wait, no. I'm definitely not going to use this, so let's trans transmogrify that. No, I said I wanted the iron boots. There we go. Transmogrify this. Yes. Let's clear this out real quick. And the brass lantern, which I'm never going to use again. There we go. There we go. That proc is so nice when it fires off. Okay, the flaming battle axe. Let's see if this one's any better. Powered by arcane forces. This is already a plus. Two hand. Slightly lower uh, damage. But it has a, a burst on hit. AoE is good. And a physical crit chance. And it's also a fire. And my fire uh, damage is increased. So let's swap over to that. And we can get rid of my great sword. Let's see. Norgos the Guardian. It's to the south. Oh, this guy just kicks my butt all the time. You know what I would like? Okay, what is this? Anti magic bush. Ah, that's not a good idea. There. I wanted to get to level 3 so I could increase my stats, strength, constitution, and magic. Uh, let's see. That brings up my Aegis if I want it. Uh, let's see. This will give me a faster cooldown on that. I'm not worried about Let's see, this will increase my damage, but it won't proc anymore. This will proc, so let's get that going. The Aegis will help. 134 health. Do you accept these changes? Yes. Okay, so... 167. So... Let's increase the Aegis a bit. There we go. So now what I want to do is I want to regen. Get my mana, uh, mana regen up. Oh, he pushes the guy out of the way. Fine. Uh, wait. That's the one thing about the inscriptions. They don't get uh, put on cooldown by dick monsters like this who give you uh, uh, whatever that status effect is. Up here, let's see. No, that's saturation. Uh, the other status effect. Here it is. 
is this is blinded luminescence nope okay let's get my regen up and running again There it is, that status effect, which is off balance. Global damage is reduced by 15%, but it also puts your spells on cooldown, which is kind of annoying. Lightning is ready to use. Let's get my mana back up. There we go. That guy killed me so many times. You have no idea. Okay, Madness of the Ages. I need to explore the Heart of Gloom next. So let's get our next level up. Uh, let's see. Combat. Uh, I said I want to do Cunning, Magic, and Constitution. There we go. I cannot get the next... What do I need for the next uh, Arcane? Strength of, 16, uh, of 18. Okay, that's fine. This will give us accuracy, We're not worried about, We're not worried about the rush. Now let's get more damage on our lightning and a bit quicker cooldown on that talent for better tankiness and attack. There we go. Nice. Okay. What did I get? Coral Spray. Which... Hmm, hold on. Armor 8, Defense 8. Oh, it's a shield, so I can't use it. Darn. Quiver, Arrows of the Wind. Armor Penetration. This doesn't help me at all. Woven linen robe, not worried about it. File staff, not worried about it. Acidic longsword. Uh, let's see. Much better base damage. Better armor penetration. But I'm going to stick with the, the fire synergy. Wild infusion of the titan. This is one random effect. So, move to the normal inventory and use. And I want to overwrite this one. Now, the reason I did that is because the um, reduce all damage taken by 12 for four turns. Interesting. Okay. Um, because it's of a titan, it increases with a constitution stat, where the other one is just a base. It, it doesn't improve with any of my stats. So, let us finish out uh, exploring this level. Come on. Oh, direwolf to the north. There we go. <laughs> nice. I so want more of that proc. In fact, let's take a look at that. That was a stabilizing rough weather cap of constitution. Rough weather cap of constitution. So what's the difference? What does stabilizing do for me? Physical save. Much better. There we go. And we are done with the level. There. Much nicer. And nothing here I want to keep. Why do I still have class points? Two more class points? What the what? Okay, so we'll do uh, another in spell enhancement, another in earth, and another three. I did strength last time, right? I think I did. Well, this is level 5, so odds I will do. There we go. 
Wait, let me break, uh, let me back that one off, because I don't, actually, I don't want to spend a point there. So let's get four into Arcane Combat. So now, we're up to a 47% chance. I definitely need to get something that will increase my, my mana regeneration if I want to keep this going. Does mana... Hmm. Yeah, mana doesn't increase the uh, mana regeneration. Let's get into town and take a quick look through the shops before we end the video. Uh, I do have 51 gold, which is decent. Uh, what do I have? What do I need? I need gloves. I need a belt. I need rings. I need a lot of things, actually, so... Let's fill out the, the belt portion of it. Let's see. Physical save, mental save, spell power. I can go up to 51. Gloves, accuracy, armor, damage, more damage. Gives me a bit more dex, which I'm not worried about, but... Ah, 53. I can't buy it anyway. Rough leather belt of unlife is treated as undead. Uh, I don't think I want to do that in the middle of the elven town. Thank you. Uh, I don't think there's anything here that I could wear. No, I can wear the, the mail now. So let's see. This one is better armor. Better defense. This one. Nope, I don't have the strength for that one. Yeah, not worried about that. It's in this. Absolutely nothing there that I want. Okay. I need a better infusion. Of, uh, a regeneration infusion. So we have... Wizard, which goes off of... Magic... There we go. Transmogrify now. Yes, please. There we go. And let's get this over our other regeneration. Because the other one, I think, is a base of 90, and this one is 114 for five turns. And it scales with my magic, so it'll get better over time much better. Now we're down to 23 gold. Uh, definitely nothing there that I want to look at. It's all iron swords, or great swords, but I mean, I would like one, but they're all over 23. Nothing there. That's all ranged combat. Great malls are nice, but nothing for 23 gold, and there's nothing over here. So... Not the best trip into town. At least we got a better infusion. There we go. Please wait while saving. Save faster. There we go. So, here is the Heart of Gloom. This is where we will pick up tomorrow. Let's go inside. And there we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you next time. Have fun.